Or wherever you are today. You can talk to somebody and tell them you got the power. Look at somebody else and tell them you got the power. Look at somebody else and remind them of what's on the inside of them. And tell them you got the power. Remind somebody of what's on the inside of them. And prophesy to them. You got the power. Now you're powerful people. I dare you open your mouth and give a praise like you got the power. that seems like it's going to bind me. God causes something on the inside of me to break free. Yeah. And I prophesy on that same anointing over in your life that every time you get crunched up, that you'll come out kicking and screaming. And you'll come out with an anointing to break free. Everybody say break free. Everybody say break free. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 16. And beginning at verse number 13. Now, excuse me if I don't get a chance to go through all of this uh, today. Amen. I feel the Holy Ghost in here. Hallelujah. Amen. So please fill it out if I don't get through all of it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Matthew 16, verse 13. Beginning at verse number 13. When you have it, shout amen. Amen. It's settled, it's settled, it's already settled. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked the disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I am, the Son of Man am? And they said, Some say thou art the Christ, or John the Baptist, some Elias, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, unto him, thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Simon, and Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood have not revealed this to you. But my Father which is in heaven, and I say unto thee, thou art Peter. And upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell, nothing you can do can stop what I build, shall prevail against it. Don't you know nothing can stop you? If you're on him, Amen. nothing can prevail against you. Don't you know a mad headache can't even stop you? Amen. Verse number 19. And I will give unto you the keys. Everybody said keys. keys. And I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be what? Bound. And whatsoever thou shalt lose on earth shall be what? Lose Verse number 20. Then charged he his disciples that they should tell no man that he was Jesus the Christ. Let's go back to verse number 19. And I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be what? And whatsoever thou shalt lose or declare to be free. Or declare release upon on earth it shall be loosed where? Yeah. In heaven. Hallelujah. Go with me to Mark chapter 16, verse number 17. Verse number 17. And we've read this scripture before. It says, that these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. Shall they cast out devils? Everybody say devils. devils. They shall speak with new tongues. That's for when you don't know where, what to pray for. Or when you get backed up in situations and you don't know what to do. 
the Spirit of God will cause you to speak a new tongue. And those new tongues will carry you until you get to your destiny. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody ought to try that this week and just speak in tongues and allow the Spirit to make intercession for you. Amen. Sometimes we don't know what to pray for because we don't even know where we are. Amen. But the Spirit will make intercession for yes. us. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse number 18, they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Luke chapter 10, verse 19, now last scripture verse for today. Hallelujah. Uh, Verse number 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy. The last part of that verse. And nothing, nothing. shall by any means Hallelujah. do what? That's a good place for somebody to give him some praise. To wherever you are, nothing. Shall by any means hurt you. That's a prophetic word all in itself. Nothing. I can walk on stick pins and they won't hurt me. People can throw daggers at me and they won't hurt me. Hallelujah. Nothing by any means shall do well. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. As you're sitting down, open your mouth and give God a praise of expectation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Lord, you can stay right there. The Holy Ghost is here. Nothing by any means shall hurt me. Can I tell you today, the Lord brought you here today to remind you today that nothing you can do can hurt yourself and nothing the enemy does to you can hurt you. Glory to God. Well then how do we explain pains that we feel if nothing shall by any means hurt us? How do we explain glory, the difficulties and the struggles that we experience if nothing shall by any means hurt us? Let me let you into a dialogue I had with God this week. Now, I'm a firm believer of what his word says. And whatever he says, I know he's going to bring it to pass. Amen? I'm a firm believer that his word cannot lie. But what I'm also very, 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 very much aware that even though his word can't lie, his word sometimes doesn't manifest when I need it to manifest. Glory to God. I've been in predicaments where I have allowed the word of God to push me to places that it didn't manifest what I thought it was going to manifest. Glory to Jesus. Say amen. amen. And I know his word can't lie. God can't lie. You know, you can't lose with the stuff I use, right? right. Glory to God. And if I trust him, I know he'll bring me through. Yes. But what happens when I get stuck inside of the through? Amen? And the light, I can see it, but it doesn't seem like I can move. Right. Amen? If that's identifying with some places that you are, won't you say amen, amen. to that? Like God, I see you, I hear you, I know you. I feel your presence, but something ain't allowing me to really break out like I'm supposed to be. Broken out. Right. Glory to God. Feels like I have pushed to this place and I've got here. And I feel like God, something hasn't allowed me to experience everything that you said I was going to experience. I'm 